welcome to Rachel Makes. Um, today I'm going to make some really nice little um, jam thumbprint cookies. Um, so I'll tell you what we need. We need 200 grams of self-raising flour, 100 grams of caster sugar, 100 grams of soft butter, one egg beaten and some jam, whatever flavour you like. Now what we're going to do is rub the fat into the flour with our fingers. If you had a food processor you could do this in the food processor. I do have a food processor, processor? I do have a food processor, but I really don't like washing it up after I've done stuff like this in it. It seems like more trouble than it's worth, so I find it easier to just do it by hand. So rub the fat into the flour until it looks like fine breadcrumbs. Okay, so you can see I've rubbed the fat into the flour. It now looks like fine breadcrumbs. It's distributed evenly in the flour there. So now I'm going to Add the caster sugar, mix that in. Okay, so I've already beaten the egg and I'm going to, I'm not going to add it all at once, I'm just going to add about three quarters of it and mix it with the knife. We don't want it to be really wet and basically what we're trying to do is just add enough egg to make it into a firm dough. We may need all of the egg, but we may not. It depends on the side, size of the egg. A little bit like pastry, what you don't want is it for it to be really wet, because then it's really difficult to deal with. Okay, so a little bit more egg. And these are incredibly easy to do and it's actually the same mixture as if you were to make rock buns all you would do is add some dried fruit to this mixture and put it in piles on a baking tray and that would make rock buns so just a little tip for you there so this has come together now into quite a firm dough so we have our dough here it's nice and pliable if you need to put a little bit of flour on your hands and just roll it into balls and onto the tray. So these are on the baking tray. I actually have another tray that I've done as well. And either make a mark with your thumb or with the bottom of a spoon, whichever is easiest, a wooden spoon would be better actually, in the middle of each cake or each cookie and then put a little bit of jam in the centre of each one. Now it's tempting isn't it to put tons and tons of jam. Don't because if you do the jam will spill out over the top and kind of burn down the edges. Okay so these are ready to go in the oven now. I've preset the oven to 190 degrees and they'll need 10 to 15 minutes. Keep an eye on them. Um, they will grow a bit and they'll be light golden brown underneath when they're cooked. Okay, so these are cooked now. In fact, they're cooled as well. They've baked for 10 minutes and as you can see, they're lovely and golden brown on the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'd love to hear your comments. Nice ones, please. Bye-bye.